The fountain of youth seems to really exist for some people. Take Paul Rudd, for instance. He is ageless, and it really is noticeable. He's got everyone on social media wondering what his secret is to looking so youthful. Is it good genes, a healthy dose of facials, or maybe he's just a vampire? Did I mention, by the way, that the guy is turning 50 tomorrow? Well, here to offer skincare tips for that Paul Rudd glow is Dr. Sandy scott Nikki. She is uh, joining us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, um, let's talk. Paul Rudd. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it, see, it seems that he's a Benjamin Button here. It seems yeah. like he's aging in reverse. What do you attribute that to? We should say you are not his doctor. No, I'm not his physician, no. Um, I think he probably lives a very healthy lifestyle, but we call these patients or people exceptional agers. They have very good genetics. There's actually a study that Olay did looking at exceptional agers. They looked at their genetics, their full genomics, and they can protect themselves better from the sun. So these people are exceptional agers. So, so, so that's the fundamental sort of underpinning. But there are other things that we can all do, right? You just mentioned the sun. Uh, talk, talk to me about that. You know, we're just coming out of the winter. There's more. There's going to be more sunlight uh, during the day. Yeah. Um, does that mean we have to change our SPF? Well, the, the, the most important thing to know is that the cornerstone of aging gracefully is sun protection okay. and sun avoidance. So pick your activities before uh, 11 o'clock, after 3, and then, yeah, as soon as the sun starts. But you don't have to wait just for the summer because if you ski, if you walk yeah. your dog, you should be wearing sunscreen every day. There's also a study in Australia to show every using sunscreen every day will make you age better than if you use it indiscriminately. Okay, uh, you've got a second tip here, which I was quite surprised with. You say don't overwash your Skin. What's overwashing your skin? Well, I wrote a book last year about that sort of topic of overwashing. Our skin protects ourselves. It's like a brick wall. And when you wash it too aggressively, you actually diminish its ability to protect you from pollution and from UV rays. So don't scrub and rub your face every morning if all you've done is sleep all night. It's not necessary. All right. Uh, what, now, rounding things out, uh, you say flat out, don't smoke, and we should yes. say Paul Rudd quit that habit a long, long time ago. And I think that probably has something to do with his aging. Sun exposure and smoking are really the two uh, natural, like nature things that you can do to age yourself. What, what is it about cigarettes that, well, that, that age you? They oxidize your skin, and they, have, they make uh, free radicals that may basically break down your collagen. And you can see people, like, tw they've done a twin study. One smokes, one doesn't. Mm. One ages dramatically, the other one doesn't, so. Now, I, I, I've said, uh, you know, we've been referring to aging and anti-aging, but that's an old expression, yeah. isn't it? That's, that's, that's archaic. What, 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 what should our goal be? Well, it has a negative connotation. I think that's part of it. So uh, aging gracefully, mm. um, aging with grace, which is the same thing, but uh, you can talk about anti-wrinkle maybe sometimes, but we don't use that term anymore. No, we do not. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me.